Hey guys, we Manga here with a new video, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a comic marker drawing of a manga book cover. What manga book cover? Apple Black Volume 2. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it, so it's finally here. I'm going to be revealing Apple Black Volume 2's final cover. So, here you're just going to be watching me do it. As you can see here, all I have is like a sketch that I kind of uh, put together like a layout of what I want the cover to look like and then for the rest of the video you're gonna be seeing me put it together beginning phase to the end and I'm gonna be talking about the illustration probably giving some tips and techniques to how I'm actually putting this together so obviously I always like to start with a sketch and in this case I'm doing going really simple and starting with a headshot uh, and I have Caesar in a dynamic pose so I was actually debating a little bit on uh, who I would put on the cover and for the longest time I thought I would put uh, Ryuzaki on the cover but just the way things played out and the way uh, I just looked at the whole series from at least from volume two from where volume one ends to where volume two ends I just felt that the most appropriate character to grace the cover would be Caesar and uh, looking at it, I think I wanted to come up with a pose that was very dynamic, that really showcased Caesar in like a really detailed, interesting angle and pose and, you know, facial expression and all that, really selling the character. Uh, and that was my goal. For, that was my goal for this cover. I still wanted to feature Sano on the cover, even if it's just a little bit. And I ended up doing that, as you will see as you watch the video uh, to the end. And for those who watch the videos to, this, to the end, those who do it for all my other videos, that helps a great deal. I hope you guys continue uh, just because of the way YouTube works. That kind of allows the video to be seen by more people and therefore helps me at the end of the day. So I really appreciate those who uh, watch the videos to the end. And, you know, I always try my best to make sure the videos are good, good enough to where you do want to watch to the end. So here I'm doing the pose. They have Caesar's hair floating all over the place. Most of you should already be familiar with Caesar, at least to some degree. And uh, you have all the hair. I, I knew I wanted to do something really cool with the hair. And um, I wanted him to, I wanted people to see most of his body. So that's why he's kind of like, he's basically flying using uh, solar beams emitting from his palms. And flying through that means and uh, I also wanted to make sure that the coloring was on point so you know for this I wanted it to literally be probably my best copic marker illustration because that's what I ended up doing so here we have the drawing we have everything sketched and now we're adding you know all the inkings and all that kind of stuff I really wanted to create a cover where whoever saw that cover wanted to open that book, wanted to open that page for sure. Obviously, uh, for the rest of the cover, as as in like the design of how the covers look, that's in line with Saturday AM's tanks and how all our tanks look. Tanks is kind of like our slang for tank bonds, so basically our volumes, and our volumes have, uh, for the most part, a uniform feel, uh, and I tried to make sure that this cover showcases that as well. got all our other books like Saigami, Bully Eater, Z Forever, and, and the list goes on. But you can also look at Apple Black Volume 1 and you would see that uh, I try to make sure that the books and all the books moving forward, at least for a while, at least in this art, kind of follow a similar theme of showcasing one character heavily and uh, then having all the other side of the AM tank design doing uh, all its magic and just making sure that the character here is being sold. And it's great here because Caesar is a new character that barely uh, makes an appearance in volume one and I say barely because he's in like the very last panel of volume one for those who have it. A big shout out to those who have actually gone out to purchase volume one and I like you guys to, I like to thank you guys for all the support you've given me so far. Here I'm just you know using Copic, Copic markers to uh, put in the skin and I'm leaving some parts white because there's going to be some highlights especially highlights coming from uh, the light source that he's uh, he's emitting from his palms and I'm adding some yellow there to show that you know it's, it, it, the light source is kind of like the Sun in a way so it's gonna be kind of yellowish and bright and so at least for the lower half of Caesar you would see that he would be very well lit it's gonna be lit but <laughs> he's gonna be lit in every sense of the word I guess but my point is that uh, that part of the drawing 
would be seen very, very clearly. Uh, I wanted to make him, I wanted to put him in a dark place, a dark environment. So like you would notice that some parts where the lights do not touch, there is a sense of tone of the environment as you will see as we go on. Here I'm going on with the hair. Again, leaving some highlights at the bottom because those are like closest to where the light source is going to be coming from. There's going to be several light sources in this drawing, but uh, the really bright one will obviously be coming from his palms. So I left some white highlights mostly at the bottom of the drawing. And again, with Copic markers, I'm going over the over the hair, over the hair, uh, on and on. And I'm trying out different colors to really show that there is like a sun light source. So maybe a darker. Uh, darker blonde, uh, a darker pale yellow, like a honey, uh, something a little orangey to um, almost give the hair like a golden feel. Uh, the thing with uh, Caesar's hat is almost like uh, it's kind of like a tribe thing from his tribe where uh, that hat is uh, it's almost like a crown. It's not really a crown but it's you can think of it as such to a degree and you know uh, Caesar's hair also floating all over the all over the place kind of kind of like Goldilocks kind of sells that as well so you know Caesar's actually pretty fun to draw for me and you know without actually putting in the light sources like the solar beams from his from his uh, palms yet you can already tell that there is a light source a lot uh, at the bottom of the drawing see so, yeah, I'm just putting more just putting some color in there to kind of emphasize on those light sources uh, even though like his pants are kind of uh, a cool gray you can still see me go over that cool gray with some bright colors some bright yellows and blending those and that's kind of like what not exactly but similar to what would actually happen uh, in a real setting I'm erasing the pencils because I left those in I, for a little bit and now I'm kind of like putting in all the necessary colors I put in the light like a light yellows and now I'm going it with something going in with something darker I'm making sure to leave the middle white because it really sells that light source so it's almost like I'm only coloring around it and not coloring it itself at least for this, and you know, uh, there are other artists that have different approaches, but this is the approach that I've chosen for this illustration. And again, you I'll probably be posting a lot of like update stuff on Instagram, so you guys can check out my Instagram to you know stay up to date. So here I'm putting in some blues. Again, I wanted to the environment where he is to be pretty dark, so I'm going with like a dark blue. And you can see me adding those tones at the top of his hair. It kind of looks weird. It's one of those things where, especially for Copic Marker drawings, where it's like you could mess it up completely. And I've I've had to redraw things from scratch or recolor things from scratch before. Uh, what I do to be safe is I scan in the line art so that if anything goes wrong, at least I can go digital. But here I really didn't want to mess it mess it up. I wanted to get it right. And uh, you see me putting in this blue because like without the light source, Caesar would be kind of like dark he, he wouldn't be as well lit if you will he would kind of be in like a dark blue environment so I really wanted to sell that so the top wouldn't like the top where the light source wouldn't hit right the top where the light source wouldn't hit would be darker bluer it will almost look like his hair is a completely different color and it will all make even more sense once like the backgrounds have been put in and for this illustration, you know, since even with my comics where I, I kind of work traditionally and digitally, so here I'm basically focused on creating Caesar himself and that outline. And then later I would go in and put um, backgrounds digitally, as you will see uh, at the end, towards the end of the video. So here I'm putting that blue in the places that I know that the light source would barely touch. And it's giving, it's all, it's, because we're mixing kind of like a dark blue and a yellow, it's kind of giving off a green vibe. And I think it works. Like I was, I was really liking uh, the outcome of this illustration and how things were playing out. So 
I just keep adding it uh, until I feel like it works well. Now I add in uh, the Sano that I wanted to do. I, always, I, I still wanted Sano on the cover to some degree. And then the same thing applies, except here Sano will get a lot of that light source because he's like, again, not necessarily at the bottom. In fact, he's behind Caesar, but you would see when the whole drawing is done that um, he is kind of behind Caesar, but that light source is still shining on him, you know? So there will be a lot of like, of that yellowish light shining on Sano. Coloring traditionally and all these highlights, I'll have separate videos where I go into more detail about that, but uh, this it's, it can be really, really confusing. As you can see, even here behind Sano, you can see uh, small tints of that blue that I was talking about. And I think it all brings all of the illustration together in, in a really, really cool way. You see, I put that blue in the places where the light source wouldn't hit. So that's it for the illustration guys, uh, you know we started from the sketch in the sketchbook so we know how the page is going to be laid out and then we, we went on to the leader paper to put in the pencils, then we inked and then we added color, then we added an extra layer of color to make everything really put together and here we have our cover. And uh, for the back I used one of my old illustrations to for, for the back because again I think it's very fitting to what's actually happening in volume 2 so I think the back cover and the front cover work perfectly. You get a synopsis of the series overall, and then you have a little synopsis, shorter synopsis, of what's actually going on in this series, so you know maybe newer people don't get lost when they pick up the book. For those who don't know me, I'm the creator of Apple Black. You can check out the first four chapters of Apple Black for free. I'll leave links to everything you could possibly need in the description below, as well as where you can purchase Apple Black Volume 1 with the first nine chapters. Apple Black Volume 2 will be out in November with the next nine chapters and you can actually find out more details about this on Sad DM's latest issue, issue 72, where I also have an interview within the magazine and it's actually for free so you can just go to the site and read the issue for free. Go to the subscribe, you'll find it there. And Sad DM, for those who don't know, is a digitally diverse anthology magazine featuring several interesting comics including mine. Just go to the site and you will find uh, all we have to offer. Don't forget to hit the bell so you stay notified each time I upload a video. Check out my social media. Again, all the links you could possibly need will be in the description. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Again, Apple Black Volume 2 will be out in November. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll leave comments if you have any questions. Those help a great deal. I'll have videos on how I put together uh, comic covers or manga covers, whatever you want to call them. And more cool videos coming soon. So why manga? And I'm out.